So uh, earlier I was, I typed into YouTube, pig etymology, uh, just because obviously our most recent video is about the pig. And this was like the third most recommended video at over 80,000 views. And it, it, it took my notice for several reasons. One, Jesus, um, so obviously, you know, we're both Christian. It was interesting to me. Uh, and then also earth pig, uh, obviously in our video, we've got aardvark, uh, the etymology of aardvark bark is literally earth pig. Uh, and I know for a fact that, that Jesus does not mean aardvark. So I just wanted to <laughs> share this video with you, Toby, uh, and see what you think. So do you want to press play? I cannot wait. Let's go. Brothers and sisters, welcome. I have another video I want to share with you today. It's a very important video concerning information that you need to have if you are to overcome in these last days. And this is information regarding the name Jesus. I want to dig deep into the origin of this name and see what information we can dig out concerning this name. Because I know that some, not everybody, some aren't aware that this name uh, Jesus is uh, less than 500 years old. I know you've probably heard this over and over again, but I'm going to say it again anyways. The letter J wasn't inserted into the English alphabet until the 1600s, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And... <laughs> um, I I like that he calls us all brothers and sisters first. I just, I'll just, I'll just throw that in there. Um, <laughs> And that's that's really nice and disarming to what he's what he goes on to claim. <laughs> um, what I, what I love is this this kind of conspiratorial language there inserted into the language was this this mysterious letter J. Like no letters evolve over time, and I became two different letters. I split into I and J in different contexts. Um, it did happen in the 1600s. You know, kudos to you. Fair enough, but like. The idea that he will go on, I know you've not watched it yet, but he will go on to claim that this change is somehow deliberate to change the meaning of the name Jesus. Yeah, uh, Forgetting, of course, that surely then that changes every name that begins with a J or has a J in it anywhere. All of this apparently is just collateral damage for this one scribe or monk who just wanted to get everyone to say the wrong name. Um, which is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> just to he set also, up what's about to happen. <laughs> also, also lovely that um, he's not. He doesn't assume. He doesn't want to patronise. We've heard this before. Yeah. Um, you know, Every, we, everyone uh, knows that letter J only occurs, you know, from the sixteen hundreds onwards. You know, and obviously. everyone knows that the name Jesus is only five hundred. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah. So that's just yeah. Let's not look it, look it up in the Bible. You won't find it. No, no Jesus is the Bible. <laughs> right. Obviously, couldn't have been the name of our Messiah 2,000 years ago or so. So I want to dissect this name, Jesus, and see what information we can gather from this name. I'm, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break down the first part of this name, the J-E, or the J. -E, and then the S-U-S, the SUS. So with that being said, we're going to deal here in this video with nothing but facts. We're not going to... Thank you very much. I was going to pause it at the exact same point. Uh, just He's just as a facts. heads up, just as a heads up, you will not be dealing in only facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just love the fact that, you know, he feels the need to explain if you separate Jesus into G and SUS, the, the way you pronounce it then is G and SUS. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice. I, I I like that. Um, the of all the ways that you could break up the name, it's not Jess and us. No. It's definitely G and Sus. Yeah. <laughs> which, as a guitar player, um, <laughs> Sus is short for. I mean, I'm. I'm. Maybe this is where he's going to go. But <laughs> sus, <laughs> but sus is a suspended chord that hasn't yet resolved. Uh, okay. So I am. I. I am actually in suspense right now <laughs> as to how he's going to deal with that and that's probably not going to come for another 10 minutes or so <laughs> deal with emotionalism or what i believe or what you believe to be the truth 
we're going to deal with straight, hard, cold facts in order to come out of the deceptions that have been uh, placed within uh, the scriptures themselves because this name Jesus, for those of you that don't know, is nothing more than one of the few stumbling blocks in the Bible. Like I said, a lot of the names of the Creator and His Son were mistranslated purposely by the powers that be in order to cast all kinds of spells and bring about uh, destruction in these last days. Um. Yeah. So, so 500 years ago, someone inserted the letter J into the English language in order to cast spells on everyone using the name Jesus. And it's to, to cause destruction in these final days. I mean, it's been 500 years and it's not caused much destruction. Um, but yeah. Well, I mean, and, and remember, it's also... Uh, important to note from from this narrator that uh, it's only one of the few stumbling blocks in the Bible. So <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is only there's only a few. And one of is, them happens to be the name of the main character of the yeah, second name part. of the main yeah ma name <laughs> of the main main character. Uh, nicely put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and mistranslated purposefully. Yeah, as I said. They, like, it's not the case that uh, he just mistranslated one thing either. He had to invent an entire letter and screw up so many other words. <laughs> All of those other names. This is, uh, I, I'd just like it to be absolutely clear. This is not the case. <laughs> this is, I, am, I am just trying to get into this guy's mind frame. Uh, I'm just concerned about the Gospel of On, the <laughs> Epistle of Ames. <laughs> Half on the disciples, one, half two. the disciples have their names changed. Yeah, the Sons of Thunder, Ames and On, the um, the forefather of Israel of Israel who was renamed from Acab. Like all of these, all of these names that we only found out that were mistranslated. Yeah, and um, and he doesn't make any claims that that changing Jacob's name does anything he's not even spoken about any etymology yet <laughs> let's go no let's find out about these facts it's live so we're going to examine this name it's very important it's information that the true believers will have and come to the knowledge of in these last days as part of overcoming the deceptions that have been placed in their faith and with that being said, we're going to take a look at some truths. And again, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, let's examine this name, Jesus. Here it is. The name Jesus, composed of two words, or two syllables. G and sus. <laughs> Not two words. Not two words, two syllables. Just, I want to make that absolutely clear, because he will go on to claim that they are meant to be separate. <laughs> <laughs> but just to be, just to go with what we've got on the screen right now, Jesus. <laughs> there's two, there's no, two syllables. There's no suggestion that the two syllables in Jesus are separate words. I just want to absolutely hammer that home just no, like well michael you know isn't my and cull as two separate words put together to make a pun it is its own word in another language the same is true here of jesus <laughs> right well you make that claim but oh sorry yes yeah, sorry i uh <laughs> We've got facts to deal with here. Sorry, yes. Let's let's crack on with facts. You put it together again, you get the name Jesus. All right. So let's take a look at some information concerning this name. Okay. Here's the origin of the name. The most recent version of this name comes from Middle English, from the 1200s. This is the most recent version of this name. Now, actually, it's from the 1600s. 
but close enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I guess he's uh, he certainly. I mean, what I wonder what the purpose was of looking up this name on dictionary online. Yeah. If uh, if once he's told where it comes from, he then goes, "Yeah, but actually, it's actually three hundred years out." <laughs> what I love is that here in this in this moment of the video that we've got it paused on, it tells you where the name Jesus comes from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that is the truth right there. <laughs> I mean, well, and actually, what we've got there is something that we we discussed earlier, which is uh, that it's not two names; it's a single name. But it's or not two words; it's a single word. But actually, um, if you're going to go with anything, it's, it's it is two words, but it is Jesu and S. <laughs> so mm -hmm. his his splitting up of J and S uh, is. Uh, Somewhat, somewhat misled, perhaps. Yeah, I, I, I do wonder whether or not it would be a better video if you split it into three and had J Izu and S. But yeah. we'll never know because this his video is uh, six years old. Uh, <laughs> we're not doing the most timely response video, but you know, <laughs> I doubt he's going to go back and uh, uh, readdress this based on <laughs> on this video. But uh, yeah, let's 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 carry on. Five hundred three minutes in Middle English. So this is the most recent version of the name Jesus. It comes from Middle English, but before that, it came from Late Latin. That's the last version of the name Jesus, which was spelled a little differently, as you can see. The letter J was basically an I, Jesus instead of Jesus. So it didn't change much. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Uh, Latin name for uh, Jesus. It, it's not much uh, different than the one we have today. And obviously this uh, Latin version, which was the last version before the modern one that we have now came about. Uh, that, that, this was the last version and this version came from the Greek. Yehesos. It, it changed uh, drastically if you were to look at the Greek version name of Christ. Yehesos, and if you look at it now, Jesus, uh, it, you can see s some of the old uh, uh, Greek components still in, in our modern uh, times uh, of the name Jesus. So, um, one of one of the reasons that you might be able to recognize so many of the letters in the Greek is that that's an English rendering of the Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was wondering um, the claim to that, that it has changed drastically. Yes. <laughs> when the battle the now is very very similar. <laughs> <laughs> There's an O in there, and the U's now got a hat, and that's yeah. <laughs> but no, um, just just to uh, head you off about where he's going with this, he he will look at the Latin in a second and look at the Latin meanings of those separate syllables and, and then that. and then make a claim. <laughs> this is this is like taking the words uh, you know taking any word in another language of today and therefore making a claim that because you can theoretically come up with a pun in you know French or German that therefore that's what it means <laughs> so i mean let's let's i just want you to see it let's delay no longer it's on the latin version i want to focus on the last version of this name it is the latin name of jesus which is jesus and then uh, in another video i'll focus on the greek version of the name jesus so for now let's take a look at this the origin of this name Jesus. The last version again is from the Latin and we're going to take a look at that name. So it's composed of two syllables, remember. J-E or G-E and S-U-S. -S. <laughs> that was a big jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
is a big <laughs> jump to go from a letter that didn't exist at the time, J. Yeah. So it was pronounced EA, and then go, well, that's basically G, isn't it? J or G. Um, I, I'm just going to point out a, a, a small thing here, which is, and I'll point with my mouse, the Greek G-E-O. Yeah. Uh, I'm fairly sure he just looked at the Greek and it was not G-E-O. No. S-O-U-S. Uh, he also said he was about to look at the Latin and yet here we are with the, with the Greek, but that's, you know... <laughs> Wow. It's S O S. So here it is. This is the first part of the name. Here it is. G or G O, which can mean Earth, as you see here. It has to do with the Earth, geography, J, Geo. So it's from the Greek, as you can see here. <laughs> it's from the Greek. It comes from the Greek, Geo. Or the shirt version of it, J, which means Earth. G, J. There's different ways to pronounce it. So again, all this is wordplay. <laughs> this is wordplay with a language that didn't exist at the time. Yeah, and he's uh, there's different ways to pronounce it, and this was what. If we just go back to the claim, this <laughs> is what was mistranslated purposefully. <laughs> where hopefully someone would mispronounce. I just want to also point out that this would not be pronounced J or G in Greek. It's Gael. It's a hard G sound. <laughs> um, it's only in English that we've turned it into a J sound. So <laughs> this monk <laughs> this monk knew what we were going to do. but yeah. yeah, he could predict that we were going to make it into a soft... A yeah. softer G. Or have we been pronouncing Jesus wrong the whole time? Is it actually Jesus? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would, as I say, it's probably Gayo. So then you end up with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is some of the deceptions that uh, the devil has played with believers because they're not aware of some of these words, how they're pronounced, the different forms you could pronounce them and say them. So this is just one of them. So this is the first part of that name, uh, Jesus. J, or in Spanish, a different language would be He, right? Jesus, He. So this is the first part, or J, or G, some English people will call it. So it basically means earth, as you can see here, right? So G, again, means earth. And if I think he, I don't know. I, I, I think he might even have just realized something himself there when he mentioned that in Spanish this wouldn't work because they say hey, not G. And so the, the pun is completely lost on the Spanish population. <laughs> uh, they're, they're completely safe, then, I guess. They can't cast <laughs> yeah. the spell. Oh, and now he's found, uh, he's found the letter G, <laughs> which. Uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> a more closer pronunciation of the first part of the name Jesus, G, which means simply to to command. As you see here, it means to command an animal. Oh, that's not good. So G, again, <laughs> it's an alteration of Jesus. You see that? So to G an animal on is <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Just love this kind of like the idea of commanding an animal is inherently bad. This um, must be bad. But then this this third one here, he's claiming that G here is the origin of Jesus. Like somehow Jesus comes from this letter G, this sound G. But here G is just a shortened verb form of using the name of Jesus as an expletive or an exclamation. Oh, gee. Instead of... Oh. So, like, we've come full circle. <laughs> well, as, and as we know, uh, if using mild... They are called uh, mild expletives. Uh, they are called curse words. Yeah. Um, which is a kind of spell. Exactly. And, <laughs> it's, all, uh, it's all linked. 
it's all it's all very much linked to the fact that at some point before or around the time that the letter J was inserted into the English alphabet, the translators decided to make that curse, which was based on the new tra new transliteration of the name Jesus, to then be the name Jesus. Now you've said it, I'm convinced. There's something yeah. about your voice, the quality of your voice, <laughs> you believe it. Uh, well, even if he'd have sent me a script, maybe I'd have been able to read this a little more, a little more clearly. <laughs> and here it means to command an animal. So right away, you should, you should record this in your mind. G, the first part of that name, Jesus, could either mean commanding an animal, or it could mean earth, the earth, as we just seen. So let's take a look at the second part, the second so, uh, the second, second word that makes up the name Jesus second syllable it's sus right so take a look at this sus the second part basically means a pig it has to wow i mean surely after you got g is earth and the title of the video has earth pig you went in too much suspense about what sus was going to mean <laughs> It's interesting, actually, that uh, suspense, despite the fact that I said that at the beginning of the video, the definition yeah. that he found only had suspicion. I know. Um, and, but and there's a picture of a pig. He doesn't mention that. He doesn't go, clearly, this is suspicious. You know, that would this <laughs> surely feeds into his argument and is at the exact same level of academic rigour. <laughs> no, he had to... Um, the only way to make the earth pig connection was to go down to the thesaurus <laughs> with swine see that I do see it that. comes from the swine yeah, family so when you say that name g you're saying earth pig jesus or jesus or jesus when yeah, every time you pray to that name you're praying yeah. to the earth pig it's as in as we can see above, the man all, hey, hey, noose. Is that how you say it? I can't. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was supposed to be all along. Maybe Jesus is actually genus. Yeah, he's been on about the, the J coming into the language. That moment in the, I think it was the 1400s when the S and N became interchangeable. And... <laughs> see the deception that the enemy or the enemies of the fate have been playing on believers. So it basically means G to command an animal. What animal? The source, the pig. You're commanding the pig every time you pray. So a lot a lot of uh, believers have been deceived to praying into a false name. That means something totally than what they think. And it all has to do with examining the words. Because, yeah, they'll insert the words there. But if you don't know what they mean or how to break them down, the syllables, the components that make up, the entire name of Jesus, you're not going to understand any of this. So, I, if you don't know how to break down a word properly, then you wouldn't know any of this. Yeah. What well, I love that, the idea that, that, that <laughs> I just love the idea. Jesus is sat there at his at his laptop, and prayer emails are coming in, and he's like, ah, "Not one of these has put Yeshua." They're all for the earth pig. <laughs> Quick, I'll forward them onto the earth pig. It's so yeah. sad. All these people, they're doing their best, but oh. <laughs> somewhere this earth pig's just like that flipping monk. <laughs> I don't want all of these. <laughs> I can't do anything about this. I'm just a pig. I'm just an earth pig. And, and am I an earth pig or am I a pig that's being commanded? Because apparently they're interchangeable. That's interchangeable as well. Yes, the interchangeability yeah. of J O to mean Earth or G to, to command a pig. <laughs> a commander pig. Yeah. <laughs> the pig commander. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the story of the legion, which was put into <laughs> a th where, a where Jesus pigs, commands pigs. <laughs> where Jesus commands pigs. He is the pig commander, as we've now, seen. Look, just so you know. He doesn't mention that. 
I, that hadn't occurred to me. That would be the perfect kind of pseudo theology to have brought up here. <laughs> and he doesn't, just as a spoiler. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued what the next seven minutes are. If it doesn't have at least a little bit of when Jesus interacted with pigs. Just so you know, this is, there's another seven minutes of this and a part two. <laughs> I cannot wait. Again, the name Jesus means earth pig or... You're commanding the pig, as you see here. Shocking truth. I know most of you cannot believe it, but th this is the name. Um. Jesus. All right, here's the word sus. As you can see, it's in various languages. But I want to take a look at this word sus in Latin because that is where we get our current version for the name Jesus. It comes from the Latin, which is the last version of the name Jesus. And it hasn't changed much. The only difference being the letter J. It hasn't changed much. From SU to pig. But there's no <laughs> there's no <laughs> there's no letters that are similar in that at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> Sorry, we can carry on. <laughs> Was it not? Okay, so here's sus. And if you translate that word into the English, it basically means pig. We know. It means swine, a so. And it is the last syllable. Not so, of... it's sow, but yeah. Thank, thanks, Michael. I was going to do that. <laughs> makes up the name Jesus. Again, G or J in English means earth, and sus means pig. So if you put it together, you get the <laughs> earth pig. Um, that ancient Greek has got the wrong hat on. <laughs> I'm not an expert in Greek hats, so I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to side <laughs> with you over this website. I will always side with you over this YouTube channel, but I will trust the website knows its hats. Yeah, I suppose it but probably knows I'm what just... the hats are called. <laughs> yeah, it probably, it definitely does. It will definitely have that somewhere. Or Earth Pig. Jesus, and that is not the name of our Savior and Messiah. You need to know his true name in order to be saved and experience salvation. So if you are one of those believers that is using and praying in this name ignorantly, now is the time to repent, to cease and refrain from using this derogatory term which is used to describe our Savior and Messiah. So, there you have it. So, Two billion Christians in the entire planet out of 7.2 billion people, that's about one third of the Earth's population. Now let's take a look at. Just so you know, you can probably pause here and I'll just summarize the rest of the video as he goes through all the major denominations. He sees that, I can't remember the exact uh, statistics, but say 55.1% of Christians are Catholic. And he says, hmm, I think only the 0.1% know the real name. Just out of nowhere, he just makes this claim. <laughs> and then he does it with all of them and just takes the point whatever and says they're probably the ones who know the real name. And at no point does he, does he explain what the true name should be. Uh, you know, there's never a point where he says, stop calling Jesus the earth pig. He is Jesus or Yeshua or, or anything. There's never a kind of, here's what you're doing wrong, here's what you do to do right. It's purely... <laughs> it's purely <laughs> nonsense about Jesus meaning earth pig. Um, <laughs> I mean, just can't cope. It, just, it just changes how anyone would do any kind of etymology. Yeah. Is to just break it down into the syllables. Well, here's what I would do. Here's, here's my equivalent, all right? The name Toby means two, which um, can mean uh, one more than one, uh, if you spell it slightly differently, or it can mean to go to somewhere, um, or it can, just, it can just mean like two. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so two or two, you can pronounce it differently. Um, and then B, uh, if, you, if you spell it differently, because uh, Y uh, is not an original English 
uh, letter. Uh, I'm just going to make that claim. Um, uh, B means like to exist. Yeah. And there's that, can you see that two, two there in the to exist? So it, they often go together. And so to be means like existence. And therefore it's very much like uh, the name of uh, God in the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. Uh, which means I am that I am, and Toby basically means the same thing. So the name of our saviour should really be Toby. That I think that's a, that makes as much sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but at the same time, I feel much better about that logic than, than the logic in this video. That Jesus the Earth Pig. Incredible. Yeah. Now, I just want to point out, as a spoiler ahead of part two um which i will i will definitely show you whether or not we record he makes a completely separate claim that jesus has nothing to do with earth pig <laughs> so I, mean, I cannot um, wait for that want to know that bit in the middle that bit where he went from i to j and then to g but they, that there's no link there's no you have to There's wait no for English to exist for there to be a link there. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Thank you for sharing.